All right, this is Mr. Bloom with, with, with Peyto High School Geometry. This is the review, page two, for the chapter 8A test. First of all, number, this is number seven, okay? This is number seven. So um, my problem is referring to 31 and 39 as my triangle size. Well, let's assume on the first part that this is my small and this is my large. So 31 and 39 is my small and, and medium, I'm sorry. And then we can figure out what the large size is to be. So if this is 31 and we add 39, well, it's got to be greater than some number of my large. When I add this together, this is 70. So 70 has to be greater than, than something that's less than 70. So like 69.9 would satisfy that. Now, if I, if I assume that this was my large, that 39 centimeters was my large, so I'm going to plug in a different, different problem. If 39 is my large, and this, let's assume my 31 is my medium. Well, what do I add to 31 to get 39? Well, that would be 8. So I have to have something greater than 8, and I have to have something less than 70, 69.9 is less than 70. So this right here, this is my best answer. I mean, this looks like it works, um, because it, but, but we're, then we're eliminating all the fractional or all the decimal parts between eight and nine that work for this equation. And then 69, there's, there's lots of numbers between 69 and 70. In fact, there's infinite number, infinite decimal numbers that would satisfy something that's less than 70. So B is your best answer, okay? Even though A works. So we were trying to find CA in the triangle ABC. First thing we want to do is we want to label our parts. So part one, part two, and then we got our hypotenuse here, the whole thing. Then this X is my altitude. I got leg one, I got leg two here. All right, well, I wanna solve for CA, that's my leg one. So I'm gonna use help, that's leg one and part one. So let's do this, hypotenuse is four plus 16, part one plus part two. Leg one, I'm just gonna write as L. I'm just gonna write leg one as L, so. And part two, or I'm sorry, this is part one. Part one is four. So four plus 16 for my hypotenuse, that's 20. Let's, let's fix that right now. So that's where we get our, high, our, our 20 here. So now we're gonna do our cross product. So I know that leg squared is equal to 20 times four. Now to solve for this, I'm gonna take the square root of both sides. Now I, I just left this because I, I have a, a perfect square there. And I also know 20 there's a four hiding in 20. So when I factor this out, I've got two perfect squares I can pull out of that radical sign. So my leg, my leg one is gonna to equal to, what's the square root of four? Well, that's two. And the other one, square root of four is two. And so five is stuck inside the radical. So two times two is four. So our answer is letter C, four radical five. Let's look at the next one. The next one we're trying to solve for A, B. And that's this, that's this leg two that we identified. Let's, let's, let's label these again. So this was my part one. This was my part two. All together was my hypotenuse, part one plus part two. This is my leg one, this was my leg two, and this was my altitude, this X. So I'm gonna use I'm trying to find for the solve for leg two, so I'm gonna use help again. But this time I'm gonna do leg two and part two. So we already figured out what the hypotenuse was, that was 20. So it's gonna be 20, again I'm gonna go just L for leg two, and it's L is to part two, 16. So now I do my cross product. So I know already that leg two is equal to the product, the square root of the product of 20 times 16. Because when I do the cross product of leg times leg, it's leg squared, and I have to take the square root of that product. 
I just left this because this 16 is a perfect square. And I know, again, that there's a 4 hiding in 20. Okay? We've got a perfect square, the number 4 hiding in 20. So let's simplify this. Well, the square root of 4 is 2. That comes outside the radical. Square root of 16 is 4, so that comes outside the radical. And then we have just square root 5 left. Well, let's do this product. 2 times 4 is 8. And so our answer is 8 square root 5. Let's do the next one. Number 10. Number 10, we're finding AB in this triangle. Well, AB is our short, short side. This is our short side A in our 30, 60, 90 triangle. So this is going to be half of our hypotenuse. Remember, our hypotenuse is, is 2A. Our short leg is A, and this side is A square root 3. So if 2A is equal to 50, this little short equation, we just need to divide by 2. We just need to divide by 2, and we know that A is 25. We know that A is 25. Number 11, do the lengths of 2.7, 4.3, and 3.1, do they make a triangle? Well, first thing you want to do, you want to label the small, medium, and large lengths. So this is my smallest. 3.1 is the next one. And this is my large. So now we got to put in our triangle inequality theorem statement. So 2.7 plus 3.1, is that greater than 4.3? That's the part one. we got to do this first part. So 2.7, well, that's 5.8. Is 5.8 greater than 4.3? Well, yes. We, we, we have a triangle. We have a triangle. But now we've got to figure out whether it's acute, right, or obtuse, okay? So it forms a triangle, so D is not an option. So the second part, we plug these lengths into the Pythagorean theorem. And the largest side is always my C, is always my hypotenuse. So I'm going to plug this in. So 2.7 squared plus 3.1 squared. And let's see how these match up. Okay, let's do the math. So 2.7 squared is about 7.29. 3.1 squared is 9.61. And 4.3 squared is 18.49. All right, so I add 7.29 and 9.61 together, and I get 16.9. And this one I get 8, this is still 18.49. Well, this is, our hypotenuse is greater when we square it. And if that hypotenuse is greater, that means that this is an obtuse triangle. This is an obtuse triangle, letter C.